Alex from the Block is back with her Instagram live stories featuring IKEA furniture and a whole lot of incomprehensible and head scratching garble. Hey, everybody. Hey, sister. I'm not doing this. I'm an adult. The latest claim from Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is that on our southern border, the detention centers, where the apprehended illegal aliens stay until a decision is made about their status, those detention centers are actually concentration camps. Yes, it's as dumb as it sounds. Roll clip. The United States is running concentration camps on our southern border, and that is exactly what they are. They are concentration camps. And um, if that doesn't bother you, I don't, I got, I like, we can have, okay, whatever. I wanna talk to the people that are concerned enough with humanity to say that we should not, that never again means something. By saying never again, AOC made a specific reference to the Holocaust. She can't deny she was referencing this specific time in history, though she's trying to do that. Thus, she is stating that illegal immigration in America is comparable to Nazi Germany. It's just another opportunity for the left to somehow Kevin Bacon their way into calling Trump the new Hitler. And AOC did call Trump a fascist just a couple of breaths later as she spent the entire live video rambling about pretty much everything. Let me, let's see, minimum wage, uh, Medicare for all, we need to make colleges, public colleges, tuition free, community college, vocational school, and public and state school should be tuition free, as well as a bevy of other issues. It was a concentration camp comparison that sparked the most controversy and triggered her into a really, really bad attempt at a history lesson on the Twitter. And for the shrieking Republicans who don't know the difference, concentration camps are not the same as death camps. Concentration camps are considered by experts as the mass detention of civilians without trial. Thanks, AOC, for clearing that up. Oh, sorry, that was racist of me. White supremacy and all. I guess we're good. I visited one of those concentration camps AOC defined for us. It was Sachsenhausen, just north of Berlin, Germany. I saw the gas chambers and the open field where the Nazis freely executed. But it was defined as a concentration camp, not a death camp. Hmm, I ponder. There was some truth AOC said during her video, which no one else seems to have picked up on. Immediately before her concentration camp assertion, she admitted her intentions. Like if you want to like raise your red flag and like put lasers out of my eyes and little devil horns, do what you got to do. But understand that this is a generational shift and the future belongs to us. Red flags, laser eyes and devil horns. Such imagery. But remember you bigots out there, we literally can't take her at her word. After all, she was just speaking off the cuff and can't be taken literally when she says things like, we are literally going to die in 12 years when the earth implodes because we never implemented the Green New Deal. She literally is just saying things while trying to build Ikea furniture. So back off. She has a different uh, usage of words and certain uh, maybe a different perception. Sorry, I just wanted to frighten you again. Yes, AOC does have a different perception. And that perception is that she is not an ideologue. She's the logical one. I think of myself as rather pragmatic. And I think of myself as looking at the logical ends and consequences of past policies and saying, hmm, how did we get here and how can we alter our future? Hmm. Let's look at the logic then. Because it's pretty amazing to me just how many people are coming to America so they can see our concentration camps at the border. It's astonishing. About 144,000 were just apprehended in the past month. And I think the heads of Walt Disney better keep an eye on this situation. The people who go to Disney World are just tourists and actually leave after a week, but our system finds a way for the illegals to stay for pretty much ever. Disney really needs to capitalize on that investment. Think about it though. If our concentration camps are desired over living in Honduras and Venezuela, then what the blimey is happening in those countries? I know, I know, the people are just eating dogs to survive. The truth is all of these people made a choice. They did not have to illegally cross any border, thereby choosing to take the risk of being detained by the authorities of the nation they are illegally entering. But if you think of the actual concentration camps, 
You think of Germany and you think of Poland in the 1930s and early 40s when families were unwillingly ripped from their beds, separated into lines, and told to march with guns being held at the back of their heads. There's a difference. A big one. You. Life is about choices, but AOC wants to make those choices for you and tell you what she believes is correct because it's about her truth. Feelings first. Fine then, go ahead and speak your truth, AOC. T -t Today, Junior! Let's try this one more time. The fact that concentration camps are now an institutionalized practice in the home of the free is extraordinarily disturbing. Swing in a huge miss. It's the land of the free, home of the brave. And it's because of those brave that we are free. Just, just stop, AOC. How it is that you're a member of Congress is what's really disturbing here. AOC continues to be a shining example of the failed education system in this, the land of the free and the home of the brave. And because she can't help herself, or she is just following the script, AOC had to continue the fight via Twitter. My heroes are the ones who stood up when it wasn't easy. Kids are dying in cages on our border. Families are being put in freezers and dog pounds. Years from now, people will look for the journalists, officials, and everyday people who stood up for what was right in real time. The air quotes imply they are not literally being put in freezers and dog pounds, right? And journalists standing up for what's right? I don't even have time to explain that stupidity. Back on Twitter, AOC also feigned outrage against Representative Liz Cheney, who just wants her to learn some history and know that six million Jews were exterminated in the Holocaust. And then AOC was invited by a member of the Polish parliament to visit the former sites of concentration camps, an opportunity any American citizen should cordially accept. But this is how you know she done messed up. If you want to criticize the shameful treatment of people at our southern border, fine. You'll have plenty of company, but be careful comparing them to Nazi concentration camps because they're not at all comparable in the slightest. When Chuck Todd of MSNBC is fact checking you and calling your words a tremendous disservice to the detainees, that ain't good for your messaging. Of course, the sycophants were there to defend AOC all week long, and some are now attacking Chuck Todd for breaking ranks because this is the one consistency of the left. If you are not lockstep, they will destroy you, no matter how loyal you have been to that point in time. We really could go on forever. Just remember, the only death camps that are being run in America today are in the buildings labeled Planned Parenthood, as every day they exterminate 900 helpless children. Keep focused on the true atrocities happening in our country and fighting for real justice, not the fake outrage put out by AOC and her comrades while building IKEA furniture. Until next time, stay healthy, America.